Welcome back to Learn Intermediate JavaScript on Code Academy. We're in the classes section. This is method calls. Finally, let's use our new methods to access and manipulate data from dog instances. Here we have our class dog with a constructor that takes name that will create the name property and assign name to it. The behavior property that will assign zero to it. We have our getter method which will get name and return name. Get behavior will return behavior. And then we have this method increment behavior, which will increment behavior by one. We then have const Haley is assigned this new dog and we pass in the name of Haley. In the example above, we create the dog class, then create an instance and save it to a variable named Haley. The syntax for calling methods and getters on an instance is the same as calling them on an object. Append the instance with a period, then the property or method name. For methods, you must also include opening and closing parentheses. Let's take a moment to create two dog instances and call our increment behavior method on one of them. We have let Nico be assigned new dog with the name Nico passed into it. We then do Nico.increment behavior and then we'll add one to Nico instances behavior. We have let Bradford is assigned new dog with Bradford as the name. We'll create a dog named Bradford. We then log Nico.behavior logs one to the console. We then log Bradford's behavior and it logs zero to the console. In the example above, we create two new dog instances, Nico and Bradford. Because we increment the behavior of our Nico instance but not Bradford, accessing Nico.behavior returns one and accessing Bradford.behavior returns zero. Our instructions say at the bottom of main.js use console log to print the value saved to the name property of the Surgeon Romero object. Let's do that now. We'll run it. We do get Francisco Romero. We did pass. And then two says call dot take vacation days on Surgeon Romero with an input of three. So let's do that right under here. Let's run it. It did pass. 3 says, after the call to take vacation days, use console log to print the value saved to the remaining vacation days property of the Surgeon Romero instance. Let's do that right under here. Run it. And we do get 17, which does show us that the 20 days that we started with did lose 3 days after we ran the take vacation days function with 3 passed into it. So it makes sense that 17 is logged out. So the point of this method calls in the last lesson, we learned how to write methods inside our class. And in this lesson, we learned how to call our methods. And as it says down here, the syntax for calling methods and getters on an instance is the same as calling them for an object. We just append the instance with a period and then the property or method name. As long as you're understanding that you guys are getting method calls and I'll see you in the next one.